first pull into the dirt road, you're going to see the sign. And from there, you're going to go down this road. And I don't know how long it is, maybe in a mile or so. But there's quite a few potholes in the beginning, so you may want to be careful about that. And as you travel down the road, you're going to find a lot of pull-offs like this. And these are places that people camp. People that are self-contained or have their potties with them and stuff like that. Um, I've seen them on every, just about every pull-off on this road. I was here a couple weekends ago, which was when it was Hunter's Weekend, I guess. It was the last hunting weekend of the season. And every single one of these was filled. Some of them had, one of them had eight vehicles parked there. So there's plenty of room if you want to park. Up here, um, there has been a dumpster. It's not there now. I don't know how often they have it there, but I've seen it there a couple of times. Here's another pull-off that people pull in and camp. I don't know how far in it goes, um, but they pull in there. We had some rain, so everything's muddy right now. This is the site that had, a, there was six or eight trucks here. One was a camper. Um, they had tents. There's big spots. And as you come up, down this road, up or down, whichever you want to call it, you'll come to a fenced in area and there's a stop sign, which I don't think you need to stop. Um, it's your responsibility to know the rules and regulations, it says. And across the road is a little Thing that says if you bring in trash you got to take it out or whatever you bring in and then you are then in Kelly's campground Kelly's pond campground which um, it's not real big it is um, National Forest. So when you drive in, you follow this dirt road around, and over here are some campsites beyond the posts. Although this group of campers, there's three cam uh, tents in there, and then one behind. <laughs> we were due to have hail, so they really battened down the hatches. That's why it looks so funky right now. And you'll follow the road up past the sights, and you'll see the sign. Um, that is for dirt bikes and ATVs um, that go on the trails here. And then there's, let's see if I can scroll out a little. Okay. And it shows you some of the multi-use trails they have and where we are. Um, I've seen a lot of dirt bikes and a lot of four-wheelers. And it talks about the animals. And over here, can't find my hand. And over here, is a place to put your money if you go on the trails. I'm sorry, I went in focus. There's a couple more campsites down there as we pan around, and there's a bathhouse. It is a vault toilet, which, <sighs> you, if you know me, you know I need to have a bathroom, and this works wonderfully. If you go beside the bathhouse and you go down here, I I'm guessing this is Kelly's Pond. Um, I'm not sure. If it is, it's very big, as you can see. I've got it all in one frame here. <laughs> and I've seen people fishing here, though. I'm not sure I'd want to eat anything out of this. 
um, and it floods so if there's a lot of rain don't don't come down here and so this is about it in a nutshell you've gone around from the pond to the entrance to the campsites that green one's mine all the way to the bathroom um, there's a lot of picnic tables way in the back there's some over here too and and I've seen vehicles go through a couple of the posts and pitch their tent one time there was a group way over there they had um, four tents and four vehicles and they parked right up there nobody said anything although I don't think it's supposed to happen I'm not gonna try it well maybe if I load up the car but I don't know and there's fire rings all around not rings places where people have had fires there's not even stones around because I can't find any stones to go around my fire pit so this is it in a nutshell peace out babies Thank you.